hi guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking if you are new here welcome i'm monica a Ghanaian youtuber working here in kuwait as a house help on this channel i film about my life experience working here in kuwait so if you are new here welcome if you haven't subscribed please kindly subscribe to my channel and join this amazing family and let's grow together okay so to my returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos i love you all so much so yeah guys i came here to <laughs> as you can see from the title you guys mm, i was infected with coronavirus <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, it's not easy. It hasn't been easy for this past um is it week? Because it's almost a week since I fell ill. The the the, the all of us in this house is infected with the virus. Coronavirus is real guys. Is view i just want to tell you i don't know today um kind of a bit today my energy is 80 percent so i must say even my voice is a bit okay that is why i decided to do this video countless times i've tried to make a video but i can't because whenever i want to pick up my phone and start recording i just my energy just dropped but today the energy is 80%. I can see that my headache is a bit down today and my coughing is also a bit down today. That's why I decided to do this video to tell you guys out there that coronavirus is real, it's happening. Like guys, it is really, really, really serious. You guys should be careful out there, okay? Coronavirus, it doesn't matter if you've taken the vaccine or not. If you are vaccinated or not, when it's when it strikes you, guys, it's serious. The pain is unbearable. Like I can't even start to explain how I was feeling. If I want to tell you guys the symptoms and what I went through this past days, it hasn't been easy. Like the headache is is serious. All my joints was very hurting. I had a fever. I couldn't. I can't breathe properly. Whenever I breathe, I feel my chest very pain and this joint at my back, you know, this uh, two joint here is also very hurting. My spinal cord hurts so bad. My waist here hurts so bad. The joint from my waist to my thigh hurts so bad. You guys, like... The first day it broke me down that I couldn't walk up, I couldn't walk. I had to call to go to the bathroom to go and to use the to use the washroom. Like it was serious. The headache was so painful. Like it's so painful. I said me tini yet yes that me tini ni yase ye boom like ye ye just so now. It was so painful and it affects like my eye, the side, my, the back of my head. So I can't raise my eyebrows like this. I can't, I can't do like this. It's so hurting, like very painful. The pain is unbearable. I can't even explain it. I can't explain it, you guys. The coughing, I cough so deep that. I feel it deep here. <laughs> it's really hurting. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. So, yeah, it's so, so serious. 
I just came here to just let you guys know what is happening to me. I haven't been feeling too well for these past days. After I posted this um, New Year video, I think on the second, on the third, or is on the third, that was on the fourth that I felt ill. And ever since today is the day I'm feeling myself. I'm, today is the day I know that yeah, this is Monica. This is this is me. Like the past days hasn't been so well, but thank God I'm getting back track i thank god for this amazing woman that i'm working with i don't know if you guys can hear me properly please if you can hear me i'm sorry but yeah this is the little way i can talk i <coughs> i just want to thank god for this woman that i'm working with she's an amazing person i just want to say god bless her so much for whatever she has been doing for me she practically takes care of me she brings me medicine she comes to my room every second every minute just to check up on me she's an amazing person she's she's among the best that i've ever worked with like a house the work yes is is too much but when it comes to our health, she doesn't joke with our health. And I'm so grateful to God for giving me such a human being to work with. Because it takes... It's not... <laughs> in Kuwait, in Arab country, working with people, the kind of treatment they will give you, even if you are ill, they don't care you continue doing hard works and they don't care about your health neither to talk of giving you any kind of medication she's an amazing person that's all i can say she's the best employer ever i've worked with the medicine she even bought for me to take <laughs> you guys i don't want to, i cannot even see the amount of money she used to buy this medicine. It's so expensive. Coronavirus, the medicine is so expensive. She didn't buy it here. She ordered it from US to this place. You can imagine how much she spent buying this medication for me. Because then they they have already they had their vaccine. They are vaccinated already. But it attacked them so hard, but it didn't really affect them like the way it did to me. Since the since she felt she she was feeling she wasn't feeling well with the two kids, she told me to always put on masks and wear gloves whenever I'm with them working. But I ignored her. She gave me a box of gloves a box of um, masks to put on anytime i come there to clean their room or she she wants me as you try and put on masks but i told i ignored her and i just told her that oh this is just a normal flu so she shouldn't worry about me i'll be fine she was so worried about me because i haven't taken the vaccine or, or yet so she was very worried even with her husband my papa they were all worried about me due to some one or two reasons i couldn't take the vaccine so she was very worried so when they so when the three of them felt uh, was very sick she was her main concern was about me that definitely she was scared that i was going to also feel sick as if she knew that I was so far sick. So after they were all fine, that was when I also felt the sickness. <laughs> and guys, it hasn't been easy throughout this period. But thank God I'm gaining my energy 
to God be the glory. So, yeah, when we found out that we are all uh, positive, how many supposed to have the resumed classes? So, this week, last week was when, was it last week? Oh, this week, last week, they opened school, they resumed school, and before they can go on, before they can go to school, they have to do PCR test before they can go to school. Before, without that test, you can't, uh, you can't attend classes. So she said, uh, how many should take the PCR? before we all we we won't know what the problem is so they took him to the um the place where he had, he was supposed to take the pcr test so they couldn't give him the res results the the same day so the following day is when he went for the result and it came out positive so that was how we knew we are all infected with coronavirus so i got it from them and yeah they are all fine so it's not with me and my baba we are the only one left to you know be more strong then after that we'll all check they will check again if we are back to normal or not so for now uh i thank god for today um gaining my energy and yeah i just came here to just let you guys know that corona is real and so i just want to tell you guys that please be careful out there just take good care of your health do whatever it is to protect yourself it is real it is happening people are really getting infected with this virus and to tell you that the pains, going through that pains, <laughs> is really, 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 really painful. And it's happening. You guys, I didn't really care about this virus of a thing since it started. But for me to go through this pain, I know how it is. And I cannot even wish it for my worst enemy. It is unbearable. The headache the headache alone guys the headache is too much i've never felt head pain like headache like the i've never felt this head pain I, pff, i've never felt headache like having headache so painful as this your mouth is bitter like my mouth is so bitter i can't taste anything like i can't taste nothing I haven't been able to eat properly this past days. It is serious. Yesterday, I couldn't do anything. <sighs> the dizziness. I feel so dizzy. I feel so weak. I can't move. I can't. I just don't want to do anything. But, you know, once you are here, they gave me a whole two days to rest. So, I can't keep on lying down whilst the work is still there i'm the only one here so i still have to manage myself and be moving on doing one or two things all together and yeah please be safe out there and protect yourself coronavirus <coughs> Sorry guys, I feel my voice is not coming at all. I'm trying. <clears throat> so yeah, so you guys, I hope uh, you'll be able to hear what I'm saying. Or if lemon water every morning, vinegar every morning, just try your best and keep safe, okay? Especially if you are in a family where they don't care about your health. You are in a family where they don't care if you are sick or not. Please, you are the one supposed to take care of yourself. If you are a kadama, please take care of yourself. Also, be a little Just be careful. Make sure you are taking care of yourself.
make your health your priority if you have good health you can move on with everything in your life but you don't have good health life is meaningless to you so please make your health your number one business please your health first okay if you are going out with them you put on your max please if possible wear gloves for your own safety i beg you so please i just came here to tell you guys i've been talking too much and i feel i'm having a headache i have to cut this video now and i'll see you guys in my next video so stay safe and god bless you all i love you